This video is to help you configure MySQL 8.0 Community Server Replication on Ubuntu 22.04. MySQL is an open-source relational database management system that has been adopted widely. Some infrastructure setups require that you have a read-only database server for reading operations like select statements. The MySQL replication process allows you to maintain multiple copies of MySQL data. All data in the source server will be synced to the replica server automatically. If your source server fails, you can promote a replica to a source for commit operations. Another usage of replication is to spread read and write workloads across multiple servers for easy scalability. You will learn how to set up a two-node MySQL 8 replication on Ubuntu 22.04. You can implement this setup in the production environment to perform live copies of your databases. Let's get into it. First, you need to have MySQL server installed on two Ubuntu servers before you can continue. Refer to the link in the description below for installation of Ubuntu server and MySQL server. Once the installation of MySQL server is done, proceed to configure replication. This setup will use the following server details and will use the following steps. I'll explain each steps as we go along. To start off, you need to open up port 3306 on source server so that the replica server can communicate. To open this port, SSH to the source server and run the following UFW command. Next step is to edit my SQL configuration file. Let's add the required settings under my SQL D section. The bind address means that my SQL will accept connections on all IPv4 addresses on the server. Set this to 0 .0 .0 .0. This server ID is used to identify individual servers within the replication topology. Note that the number set needs to be unique, it cannot be reused on any node in the cluster. Then, set log bin location. Binary logging is required on the master server, because the binary log is the basis for replicating changes from the source to its replicas. All the changes made on the master, are written to this file. All slaves will copy data from it. For the greatest possible durability and consistency in a replication setup using InnoDB with transactions, you should enable InnoDB flush log at TRX commit and sync bin log. And now, we need to restart my SQL service for changes to take effect. We now need to create a database user to be used by slaves when connecting. Log into my SQL database as root user and let's create the user. The following is the command to create a user. Note the IP address is the IP address of the replica server. And then, let's grant the user replication slave privileges. Let's flush for the privileges to take effect. Let's verify the grants for the replication user. We will now configure the replica server. Like we did with the source server, we will edit the MySQL configuration file. We will edit the bind address settings and set it to 0 .0 .0 .0.
and we will add server ID at the end of the file and set this to 2 because we need this to be unique on any node in the cluster. And we will add the log bin as well. We will also add the report host settings. This is the host name or IP address of the replica to be reported to the source during replica registration. Let's add read-only option so that it processes only retrievals and blocks updates to the replica server. And now, we also need to restart MySQL service for changes to take effect. We should be ready to start replication process on the replica server. Let's start by checking status on the master server. Take a note of current master log file and position. Then configure replica server with details obtained from the master status command. Go back to the replica server and execute the change master command. Note the source server IP address is set with this command. Then, start replication. Now, check slave status. The slave IO and slave SQL should indicate running state. Let's check source server. As you can see on the host column, this is the value of the report host settings we set in the replica configuration. At this point, my SQL replication is configured. It's time to test whether the replication is working or not. Let's try to create a database on the source server. Let's check the database list. The test database has been created. Let's check replica server. It should have contained the same test database. The output indicates that my SQL replication is working as expected because the test database was replicated on replica server. That's all for now. I hope this helped you. If it does, please like share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.